Hey yo, what's good? What's poppin'? What's happening with you all? It's your boy Gold Phoenix in the flesh, rise from the ashes in the flesh. You know what it is, listen up. This is Interstate 44 right here. I'm in Springfield, Missouri at TLG Peterbilt right now. Just walking around, I had a couple questions. I'm gonna run inside and ask them about a couple of things that I don't want. But before I do that, I wanted to come and see what the appeal is to something like a 389. Because if I'm completely honest with you, I understand, but at the same time, I don't. Like, in my opinion, just looking at it, all you know, just initially, it's a badass truck. It really is. And this hood makes me feel even shorter than I already thought I was. Crazy. But, I look at the fuel economy that I get in my truck, because I'm averaging over 9 MPG, plus, all the extra space I have, having an 80 inch ultra loft, and I come and look at something like this, and it's like, why? So I'm gonna go ahead and walk around it. Okay, for starters, let's go ahead and, I don't know what is stopping the hood from opening, but it's like caught up on something, I don't know. X15 efficiency series. This one is 500 horse, 1850 torque. Remote lube spots. Spring suspension. I'm not gonna lie, that Cummins is gorgeous, man. I, you know, I'm not somebody that hates on the Pack RMX 13. I actually really like the engine. But this is, this is like next level pretty. I can't even front. I can't lie, that hood is a whole lot lighter than you would think. Chrome cover on the def tank, fuel tank. And I really do like this style of toolbox. I kind of wish I could have got something similar to that on my truck. I guess I'll show you guys the toolbox I have. I actually just recently got installed at the end of the video. But I've seen a couple 579s with something similar to this and I actually really enjoy it. Rusted pogo stick. I like these quarter fenders right here. Now I'm trying to figure out what exactly this wheelbase is. If I had to guess, 280 maybe. Just eyeballing it. Let's go ahead and look inside actually. Okay. So this one still has like the classic gauges. That's crazy though. No, I can't even lie. If I'm completely honest, looking at that hood right now is a little bit intimidating. I know I could get used to it, even though I'm one of those truckers that everyone hates who has a automatic restriction on their license. I have no interest in driving a manual right now anyway, but eventually I'll get the restriction removed. Either way, I think I developed a whole new respect for people who just casually drive long noses because like what's in front of me only i can't you can't even see what's in front of you and to be honest i have no idea what all of these switches do either <laughs> freaking clutch holy crap that's a that's a really long clutch um what is that that's a trailer brake i guess um work lights What's the interior lighting? You got a manual fan, cruise control right here. I don't, I really don't like that. I like having it on the steering wheel. Auxiliary, spare. Can someone tell me what this would possibly do right here? It's an arrow with a fuel thing. I don't know. Is it like change what the fuel, like which, which fuel tank is being drained? I don't know. I don't know. This is not my style of truck whatsoever. But just sitting in the cab, I guess I could kind of see what the appeal is. Looking at something like that, that, that has to be a badass feeling. Even more so if you got a bumper on that, like, like a guard, like this one does. I'd be riding around feeling like a menace of society. I guess this red thing, that's a 13 speed, right? Yeah, 13. Crazy. Okay, now if I step into the sleeper, nah, yeah, see, 
down. What up, y'all? This is such a small space. And I don't even mean just compare it to my truck. I mean compare it to like a 579 mid-roof. I guess the fridge is kind of nice. Relatively similar to mine. The freezer is a little larger. But this area and mine is a little bit bigger. Cabinets up here. That's kind of cool. But I mean, I guess it's a solo spec truck or something like a husband and wife team. This closet area is pretty large. Though, this one doesn't have any doors. It has like the curtain situation. Yeah, another closet. Space right here, I guess, if you wanted a TV. Maybe you could like drill them out through here and hang it there or down here maybe i like the size of these windows cup holders little storage spot at the foot similar to mine but just foot space right here is way smaller than what i'm used to i kind of like how the curtain drops down like it, it if if it was nighttime it'd be pitch black back here if the curtain was shut but this little zipper situation here like mine is magnetic, that's stupid. With these extra lights, okay, that's kind of cool. Yeah, this is, um, like I'm not gonna hate on anybody who has this, but I don't understand. Like, of course, there are people on YouTube who I watch who have like 389s, like, like Nevada Chuckin' and Trails. If you haven't checked his channel out, I suggest you subscribe to it, you won't be disappointed. But uh, he and his wife, they have like a beautiful like their truck is gorgeous 389's got the 13 speed uh amt if you know you know um and it's their dream truck and i wholeheartedly respect it i respect that and the fact that anybody could get into a position to get the things that they want in life i salute you i'm always happy about that but looking at this from a practical standpoint i don't understand I don't understand, but I want to understand. Can, like, like you guys in the comments who have these kinds of trucks or like these types of trucks, what, tell me what it is about it. Aside from what I assume, the motor, you could get a whole lot of power out of these things like Cummins Performance Series with 2050 Torque 605 horsepower. I understand that, but I could put that same stuff in an ultra loft, probably still get better fuel economy and have more living space. I don't know. I don't know, maybe it's just the classic feel of it that people are driven to. I'm more of a modern type of technology, give me all the digital whatnots, and you know, but I grew up in an age of technology, so maybe that's where I differ compared to a lot of older people who view my channel. Statistics, a lot of you are older than me. Like, <laughs> I look at the analytics. Um, so maybe that's it. But then again, maybe there's more to it. I don't know. You guys help me understand. I'm genuinely curious. I, I didn't come here to bash the truck or anything like that. It's a beautiful truck. I'm just spoiled by mine, if that makes sense. You know, it's like once you once you've had an ultra loft and then you get into something, this feels cramped to me. And honestly, if the sleeper was styled more so or like at least the size and even hat hell to design the layout and all that stuff if it was more so like you got the 389 up front but the sleeper was more like a 579 the mid-roof you know kind of like the peterbilt 567s you know um the sleeper on that but then the front is a little bit different just put a 389 up there you know what i'm saying i could rock with something like that but the way this is as of now I don't think I could do it. I don't think I could do it. I couldn't I couldn't team drive in it. I guess I'm speaking from the perspective of a trainer. I'll always have somebody with me. I would have to be solo. Oh yeah, before I forget a bunch of miscellaneous stuff in here, but that's what I had put on. It was like um uh, like nine hundred some odd dollars. You can see where my student messed up my quarter fender high hook in my truck or high hook in the trailer he did it twice and then that happened so I'll look into replacing those maybe putting some Hodge built 28 29 something bigger than that 
I don't know, we'll see what I could get into. And then the pogo stick. I've been loving this thing. But I took the glad hand mount off, screwed it onto here, zip tied the top so it won't move. And I like the fact that this kind of makes the catwalk bigger. I don't have the biggest catwalk on here, but you know, it's a little something extra. Only downside is when I go to connect the trailer, I gotta climb up here to take these off and then connect the line. So it complicates things a little bit, but I like that setup more than just having them on the truck for some reason. But anyway, y'all be easy.